set with some smiley faces here. Welcome back. It's time for our Pet Pals TV segment. Patty's hiding behind one of her guests. <laughs> so we have quite a full set here. Yes, we do. Uh, Karen, and that's a Karen Terrier. And, and this who is a Westie. the belly rubs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who doesn't? And uh, Darlene Gosnell is here. Hi, I've known Darlene Hi, for you? some time now. Darlene has Therapets as her organization, not profit. I love that name. Isn't that great? And goes to hospitals and, and uh, libraries and all places where kids and people need animals. We know how much they help us feel oh, better. Yeah, and Darlene has a personal story as well about how she started this in two, what? Hello? In 2000. <laughs> Darlene, tell the truth. Uh, I was hit by a car. I was a special ed teacher. Oh my and um, so I had a head injury and some other injuries. And I had a Karen Terrier, small puppy at the time. And the doctor saw what she was doing for me because I had to learn to take care of her and everything. So they asked me to start working with some of the brain damaged patients oh, wow. since I had awesome. a traumatic brain injury. Sure. And from that, <laughs> one dog went to 26 dogs. 26 dogs, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So do you have a lot of people that volunteer with you who we have use volunteers. their own dogs or how does this no. work? No, okay. all of these dogs are rescued through either ASPCA puppy mill raids mm -hmm. or through the Colonel Potter Karen Terrier Rescue. <laughs> and we get them as puppies. Every one of the dogs has a disability. <laughs> so we rehab them and I get the medical care and then they go right into the hospital nursing homes, um, schools, etc. Man, you look at this video Isn't and it, it tells the story for oh. itself, just to people's reaction to the dogs. And we are hearing more and more that hospitals are having therapy dogs right. on staff. So I can imagine just the stories that you've experienced yourself <laughs> to see what an impact these I dogs I have seen made. too, when I was doing a story with Darlene, it was a, 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 a young boy and he was unresponsive. I just, I don't know if he'd been in a coma or what, but they put the dog on the bed and all of a sudden he reaches out and no sucks way. the bed. I swear, I wow. swear. Uh, and uh, these are small so they can go on the, on the bed. I mean, my Louis, my big 120 pound mm -hmm. boy, he was a therapy dog too, but the smaller ones sometimes are more manageable yeah, if someone sense. has an injury or they can't have a large dog, that the smaller ones help. Sure. So, and not every dog can be a therapy dog. These obviously like people. They do it because they like us, not because they're. Thank you. You're not doing this because you have to, are you? No, no. Oh. Oh, and we have a big event. This is a not for profit. Yes. So we have a big event coming up. Darlene, when ends it? Uh, it starts Wednesday, October 18th at um, the Rich Charles from 6:30 to 9:30, and. Some of our dogs are disaster and crisis response dogs. So we're trying to raise funds for some new equipment for those dogs, okay. um, funds for medical care, uh, vet care, and things of this sort. That sounds like a great event. So it's happening in Carmel on yep. Wednesday. And I'll right. be there emceeing, helping to raise some money for <laughs> this these. This one just instantly wants to flip over. He they wants belly to rubs, down. Belly uh, rubs. Uh, all right, well, thank you ladies so much for coming in. This sounds like a, just a fantastic organization you're doing. It is, it yeah. truly is, truly is. And don't forget Pet Pals TV. We have more uh, uh, therapy dogs at Eskenazi Hospital. Also, Boomer TV at 1030. Oh boy, Josh Brolin, Jeff Bridges from Only the Brave. Uh, I got Vicki Lawrence and I've got Rob Reiner. So well, Lots of big names. Whew, yeah. I wonder if there's a film festival happening. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Patty, thank you.